Today we're taking you on a tour of one of Asia's most dynamic cities, Hong Kong. Yes, this is a city of modern skyscrapers and futuristic architecture, but if you scratch beneath the surface and spend a little time here, you'll discover pockets of tranquility in the form of incense-filled temples and bonsai gardens, a delicious foodie scene that features budget-friendly Michelin-starred restaurants, mountainous islands that are an easy day trip away, antique markets full of treasure, and a dazzling skyline you won't soon forget. Without further ado, let us show you 25 things to do in Hong Kong. Let's kick things off at the Peak Tram, where the steep 7-minute ride to Victoria Peak gives you some of the best views of the city. So we just finished riding the tram to Victoria Peak, and now we're enjoying the free views. We could be paying more and going up to the Sky Terrace, but we refuse because the free views are good enough. <laughs> yeah, and if you're willing to walk out a little bit from the complex, you'll find that, you know, the crowds slowly dissipate. dissipate. Yeah. And then, hey, we're just by ourselves right now. At 552 meters, the peak is the highest mountain on Hong Kong Island, and its location offers vast views of towering skyscrapers, Victoria Harbor, and Kowloon off in the distance. For more postcard-worthy views of Hong Kong, we also visited Victoria Harbor at sunset and then watched as the skies turned from amber to fiery orange. Another event you should definitely make time for is the Symphony of Lights, which is a daily music and light show that encompasses both sides of the harbour. Skyscrapers dazzle with blinking lights and laser beams while everyone oohs and ahs from the waterfront. You can watch the show from either Kowloon or Hong Kong Island, but I personally prefer being on Kowloon since Hong Kong Island has the iconic skyline. We are currently in the Nan Lian Garden, which is right across from the Chilin Nunnery. And again, like most parks here in Hong Kong, it's super peaceful. They have soft music playing. You can hear the birds chirping. It's beautiful flowers. There's like a little golden pagoda in the middle of a lake. So we're gonna show you all that now. After visiting the gardens, we crossed over to the Chilin Nunnery, which is a Buddhist temple complex that dates back to the 1930s. What is perhaps most impressive is that the structures were built out of wood, but without the use of a single nail. Alright guys, we have three words for you. Tim Ho Wan. Tell us all about it. What is this place? This is basically one of the best places to try dim sum in all of Hong Kong. It's a yes. Michelin star restaurant, yet yeah. it's affordable. So we're going to go in, we're going to order a lot of food, and we're just going to scarf down dim sum. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Alright guys, so we just finished placing our order, and this is what the menu looks like. You basically grab a pencil and you take off the different dishes you're interested in. The first one has already arrived. Oh wow. So we got a little bit greedy because it's like 3 in the afternoon, we haven't had lunch yet, <laughs> so we ordered 7 different dishes and we're going to be showing you those once they arrive. First one's here and this one is the sticky rice wrapped in a lotus leaf. This is one of our favorites. Yeah, this is so good. So let's not waste any time. Let's just start unfolding this masterpiece. Lots wow. of steam rising. Ooh, look, look at that. that. It's a huge leaf. It's a huge one. And there you've got the, the sticky rice with chicken, I believe, and a nice mushroom. So we're going to be sharing this. Wow. Well, so what do you think? I love it. He loves it. And there's more food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I'm just going to use my hand because it's a little bit easier for me. But man, these are nice and plump. Yeah, everything here is plump <laughs> and stuffed. I know they, they do not skimp out here. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Very hot. It's a barbecue. This is so fluffy. Oh my I gosh. Know. I know. It's a lot fluffier than I remembered. Wow. What about the taste? Do you like it? 
It's really nice because it's like savory inside, but then really sweet on the exterior, so you get both flavors. That's what together. it is. It's, it's that contrast that makes it so good. Mm. So the next on the menu is one of our absolute favorites. I believe it's called hargao, and that is basically the. They're almost like shrimp dumplings. They're yeah, they are. Shrimp in a little uh, wrapper, and they're just oh, they're so good. Oh my gosh, this is a slippery one. So, <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn yourself. I have a feeling it's going to be really hot. Those are like freshly on. steamed. Oh, oh man. His eyes are bulging out. What the fuck does it mean? <laughs> so, yeah, it's just filled with like so much shrimp. Mm -hmm. You just bite into it. It's juicy. It's just so flavorful and tasty. It's so plump. It is. Seriously, look at those. That's the best way to describe them. Just such plump, plump, plump pieces of shrimp. I think it goes without saying that Tim Ho Wan is one of our favorite places for dim sum and it's worth seeking out if you're ever in Hong Kong. So next up we're going to watch the Noonday Gun and I have to admit the first time I heard about this attraction I had no idea what it was. Sam actually mentioned it to me last time we were in Hong Kong like three years ago and I just thought Noonday Gun was a name. To me it sounded like Chinese. But apparently it's a gun that they fire during the day at noon. So we're just waiting for that to happen right now. Getting here is a little tricky. I wish I could give you instructions. Um, basically, you can probably see the Excelsior Hotel behind me. The Excelsior. Um, you need to go down some tiny side alley and then cross through a tunnel. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit tricky to find it. We went into like three buildings before we found the right place So you may have to ask around to find it um, But yeah, we're here. We're gonna watch this gun be fired Well, Sam, after all these years, you finally got to see the Noonday Gun again. How was it? Yeah, it must have been like six or seven years ago that I got to experience this. Well, my biggest tip for this is when you come here, make sure you plug your ears just before it shops. Yes. It's, it is some kind of loud. And it also, it almost makes you like shake. It's, like that's how loud It's it really is. powerful. Yeah, yeah it's, it's scary. It's a powerful blast. And it's a very short ceremony. Like he just rings the bell, fires the gun, off he goes, and then you can come in and check this place out. Yeah, for nice. 30 we'll minutes and, and take some, some pictures of the gun and just walk around. It's yeah. Cool. Another fun thing to do in Hong Kong is to ride the double decker trams. This was one of the earliest forms of transportation in the city and riding them through the modern financial district feels a bit nostalgic. If you're really looking for something memorable, you can actually hire a party tramway and celebrate with music, drink and stellar views as you cruise through the city. We are currently making our way down Upper Alaska Row and this is the place to buy souvenirs. There's also some construction happening so it's a bit loud. But basically the street is lined with shops that sell really high-end antiques. And then on the street you have like these little tables with like old trinkets and just things that would make really cool souvenirs but also have a history behind them. So it's worth checking out for sure. I haven't picked up anything, but I do see things that interest me. It's just I don't have a home and I don't have room in my suitcase. If antiques aren't really your thing and you're looking for something a bit more modern, Causeway Bay is full of malls, department stores and fashion boutiques. So today we are going in search of free views of Hong Kong. Always like free stuff. So we're here at Central Plaza and apparently on the 46th floor there's a sky deck. So we're going to be checking this out for the first time. We've never done this in Hong Kong before. Let's do it! So 
So look at this, we get 360 degree views of Hong Kong from this building and no one's here and it's free. More people should know about this place, seriously guys. Free views of Hong Kong, all to yourself. So this is a bit of a quirky attraction to be listing, but not every city offers the opportunity to ride a series of escalators instead of walking up hills. The Central Mid-Levels Escalator is the longest covered escalator system in the world, so it's worth experiencing at least once. Just know that there is no escalator going down, so you'll have to take the stairs. Manmul Temple dates back to 1847 and is dedicated to the god of literature and the god of war. For a little trivia, this temple was once popular with students looking to succeed in the civil examinations of Imperial China. We're currently inside the Manmo Temple and it is thick with incense in the air. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it almost burns your eyes a little bit, yet it looks magical at the same time. weekend in Hong Kong. Tell us, what are we up to? Yeah, it's time for some nightlife in Hong Kong. We're at Lan Kwai Fung, and this is probably the most popular nightlife area in the city. We're not exactly gonna paint the town red, but I think we'll get a <laughs> beer or maybe a glass of wine. rather be at home, in bed, reading a book on a Sunday night, but apparently that's considered lame. So somebody insisted we check out the nightlife. That's all kinds of nerdy, so. <laughs> all kinds of nerdy? <laughs> so here we are. The funny thing is, it's like 7.30 p.m. right now. We're super early. Yeah. It's gonna get off and around 9 or 10. <laughs> <laughs> by which time, we'll be back. We'll be sleeping. Back in the hotel. But anyways, cheers, what did you get? Uh, I got red wine. And, and I got gin, gin and tonic, salut! If you're looking to get out of the city and a little closer to nature, you can ride the aerial tramway to Lanto Island. Once you're there, you can visit the Poland Monastery and also visit the Tian Tian Buddha, better known as the Big Buddha. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you visit the Buddha in the morning, it is backlit. So if you're a photographer and you want to be able to take some good shots from the front, you may have better luck in the afternoon. Otherwise, this is what you'll get. Time for a little update. Yeah, so we've had a busy day exploring Hong Kong. Now it's time to go back to our apartment. And this is our favorite way of getting around the city. It's taking the Star Ferry. Star Ferry. In my opinion, it's like, it's iconic transportation in Hong Kong. You've got to do it. It's cheap, it's fun. You can cross Kowloon to Hong Kong Island or vice versa. And it's just something we can look forward to doing every time we visit Hong Kong. And the view. Museums are your thing, you can always pop into the Hong Kong Museum of History in Simsa Shui, which looks at Hong Kong's history and cultural heritage. The permanent exhibition is free of charge. Right now we are visiting Hong Kong Park and this is one of the coolest parks in the city because you are surrounded by skyscrapers yet you can hear the sounds of nature. They have streams and waterfalls and you can hear the birds chirping and there's palm tree swaying so it feels very peaceful but you can still see that Hong Kong is a very modern city and it's not that far away. Inside the park, they also have this huge walk-through aviary. Um, and yeah, they just have birds flying freely. One just nearly hit someone in the head. And it's pretty cool. They have over 600 birds in here. 
Another cool park you can visit is Kowloon Park, which offers a serene escape on the other side of the harbor. For a bit of a splurge and some sugary treats, we would recommend indulging in afternoon tea. We went to Lion Rock inside the Royal Plaza Hotel. Yes. All right, so I'm so excited the tea is here and we each got our own pot and seriously, there's probably like three cups. Three cups in here, and they've already poured. And one. yours is what? The chocolate truffle? It's the chocolate mint truffle. I don't even know oh my gosh. the order, but it that, smells amazing. That it seems it like a bit like of a fancy pants tea. Yeah, it smells like melted chocolate with mint. Does it? I can't say I smell the truffle, but I'm not that familiar with truffle, so. That's nice. Like the flavor itself isn't very strong, but it's more the aroma that you get before you drink it. And like you don't need any sugar or milk with this. It's just so good. I love the way it smells. It smells like the holidays. <laughs> we are both so giddy right now. The Tower of Heavenly Delights has arrived. Lo and behold. So let's see, what can we choose? So we're gonna start from the top and work our way down. So we have some scones, some chips with crab meat, I think. This looks like a mini quiche. And then we have mini burgers, mini sliders. What's I on the, what's have on the a second level? Well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> First, let's eat from the top, all right? And I have a major sweet tooth, so I'm starting with the scones. I'm just going for it. Why waste any time? So there we have it. There's a little scone. I'm gonna cut it in half. And I've got some jam here. And I'm really hoping this is clotted cream and not butter. Ugh. But it might be butter. I think it may be butter. Would that be the saddest thing ever? Uh, if it was butter? It's a little sad, but I will survive. <laughs> it's not England, so that's okay. And then some jam. Wow. Oh yeah, baby. This is what I came for. The scones, that's my favorite part of the whole afternoon tea experience. So if you don't want your scone, Sam, I oh, will I'll gladly, want my scone. I'll gladly relieve you. No worry about that. This is like one bite. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> that's how it's done. So I think I have something that might be a mushroom tart. It has a very um, flaky exterior and it looks like mushrooms on top, so... There we go. There we go. I don't know if I should do it in one bite or two. All in one bite. Oh my gosh, that's a huge one bite. bite. You can handle it, Sam. Mm. Ooh, keeping things classy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. So. We'll give you a second to, to chew and search for your words. <laughs> <laughs> so food doesn't go flying right. everywhere. That would be a civilized way of uh, doing things. <laughs> so, if you've ever had it like a thick mushroom creamy soup before, Ooh. it tastes like that. And then it just, oh, that pastry is so buttery and flaky. And you just bite into it, it and it just like disintegrates in your mouth. <laughs> and you're rolling that mushroom around. It's just the, oh. <laughs> you're rolling nice. it around, huh? Rolling around on your palate. <laughs> mm. And you get the idea. It was an hour of um num num nums. This evening we're taking part in Sam's favorite activity, shopping. Oh yeah. Shopping. No, we're headed over to Temple Street Night Market and we're just going to check it out, see what's happening out there. The market itself stretched for several blocks and offered all kinds of clothes, purses, souvenirs and random knickknacks. We also spotted some street karaoke happening in the area. Lastly, let's talk about transportation. The most effective way to get around Hong Kong is by MTR. If you're going to be here a few days and you don't want to pay for individual tickets each time, you can get an octopus card and also save on the fare. As a final piece of advice, try to avoid traveling in Hong Kong during rush hour. You'll either feel like a canned sardine on the subway or be left behind on the platform like a beached whale because there's no more room. And that's a wrap for Hong Kong. We hope that you enjoyed this travel guide and that it gave you a few ideas of things to do and places to visit on your own trip. 
We know we only covered a small fraction of everything Hong Kong has to offer, so if you have any other suggestions of things travelers should experience, feel free to share those in the comments below. Wishing you happy travels and until next time!